Hi everyone, it's Stacy. Thanks for stopping by again. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, I want to thank you. And please like and subscribe below. Today, I want to talk to you about my hair products, um, mostly styling products. So let's get right into it. Um, I think my first one that I'm going to talk about is probably my all-time favorite and the one I've been using consistently for the last, I would say, three years. Uh, it's the Bamboo 48 Hour Sustainable Vial, 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 Volume Spray. Uh, and it's eco certified, it's free paraben sulfates, phthalates, and synthetic colors. Uh, so, this is a spray I put on when my hair is wet, and it really does almost make feel like my hair is thicker. I do have thin hair. In some spots, I have a lot of it, but I have lost a lot of hair. So um, mostly all my thing, my styling products are for volume and I'm, I don't get that much frizz, but I do get a little bit of frizz around this area and this area. But if I haven't found that many products that take care of the frizz without weighing my hair down and making it flat. So this has been one of my favorite products. I turned my sister on to it and when she was here a couple years ago and she's been hooked ever since. So this one is a real good favorite of mine. Uh, another um, one is, this is pretty new to me. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Styling Prep and it says it hydrates, primes, and and protects and it's free of parabens and sulfates and gluten and everything again. Um, I bought this, I had seen a review on it and I personally don't don't find it doing anything really. Uh, it's supposed to like hold your style longer than if you didn't use it and I haven't seen it do that so um, it's not one of my favorites and it's probably only been a quarter used and I've had it for almost a year. So I have to give this one a little bit more love on its own because you know, are you the same way? Like you try so many products one on top of each other and it's like, now was that the one that did this or was that the other one? So I don't know. I've, I'm going to give this one more try. If you've used this and you've notice a difference, comment below and tell me how you use it and what you feel like it's done. And I'll give this a little more love. Another favorite of mine has got to be the Hemp Strength Thickening Compound from Alterna. I ended up having to buy this on Amazon and uh, I couldn't find it anyone he anywhere here, but I use this every time I shampoo. And that's another thing, I don't shampoo my hair that much because it is dry and um, I like to let my natural oils come in there and moisturize it itself. So if I'm not going anywhere and I'm staying home, it's up in a bun even if it's dirty because why? Um, so I'll go four or five days without sham shampooing it. I usually just shampoo my hair to go out somewhere important, but because I, I, I like to wear hats and my hair and braids and things like that. So if I'm on a stage or I'm speaking somewhere, of course I'm going to do my hair. But, um, and it, you, my hair always looks better like second, third day anyway. So, so this product, like I said, it's good. It, I can, I know that this makes it thick. I take this one and I put it into my roots and rub it in. And then I, and I, distributed out throughout the rest of it. I try to stay away from the ends just because um, it, any kind of thickening has a little bit of alcohol and I don't want to dry out the ends. So this is a really good product. Now, I've just got a sample on um, one of my perks from um, Sephora of the Living Proof Perfect Dave 5-in-1 Styling Cream. I really like this one, of course, the really expensive one. And I know a lot of you love this. So this is my first, I've only had it for a month and I've used it a couple times and I can see what this does. I like this product, this is a good one. And I had this one for a couple of years that I've been using, it's kind of wonky here. Um, it's the uh, Caviar CC Cream Tan in One Complete Correction Leave In Hair Perfector. And I like this, it makes my hair very soft uh, but the problem with when my hair gets so soft is it doesn't hold a curl. So what I do is I know 
I know it, it really makes my hair nice and feels nice, but I'll use this when I know I'm not gonna be curling it or I'm wearing it straight. Um, but if I try to curl my hair when I have this product in, it falls right down. So that it, it's good, but I don't use it all the time. Another one I had tried of, I think Lisa Lisa did mention this one, um, it's the AG Hairs Cosmetics. It's called Fast Food. It's a leave-in condition. This is really nice. Um, what I like to do with this is I like to put this on um, and just let it soak in on the ends. I never put it past here because it will just flatten me out. So um, I like this one, but I haven't used it that much. I have to rediscover this one. Another leave-in conditioner type styling Alexa is this one, Too Chic from uh, Giovanni. And I like this one too, but just like the fast food in the CC Caviar, it does the same thing. It makes my ha hair too soft. And most people want their hair soft, but when you have thin hair that doesn't hold the curl, you don't want it too soft. So I'll do this type of um, heavier conditioning like once or twice a month and, um, and not do it all the time because it won't hold the curl. Uh, I love this one. I've had this oh, Osis uh, dust it and it gives you volume. It's just that powder and you just dust it in your hands. See the powder and then you take the powder and then you put it on the roots and it gives you height so I've had this for a long time. I used it a lot. This particle's all over the place. And so this one is well loved. But something that's kind of similar to that is the, um, the Texture Tees. And this one is, this. it says it's a dry touch finishing spray. And it's supposed to um, give you hold and lift. So like if you went like that and it kind of, I kind of scrunch it up. It's almost like what a salt spray will do but it being dry so i use this one a lot actually there's like a drop left i need to get more of this i do like that one and then there's another one from redkin and it's called quick tease it's a back combing so this product i if i'm if i'm back combing from teasing the top i'll take up a piece i'll spray it i'll tease it and then it'll, it holds it a little bit better than just teasing it on its own. So this I like. This is like my third bottle of this one. And then before I bought that one, I tried one that was supposed to be sim similar. It's the L'Oreal Boost, Boost Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. So it says Instant Lift and Fullness. So this one is this kind of same concept. Like you do that and I let it dry, you know, let it dry a little bit and it's supposed to give you some boost where you, where you put it. And um, I mean, I think it does it, but the fragrance is really strong and um, I don't like all the ingredients in this as I like in the quick teas. So um, probably when I'm done with this, I won't use that one again. Uh, now this is what I use when I'm flat ironing or um, curling iron my hair. It says it holds up to for 425 degree heat protectant. I never use that much. That'll just sizzle my hair and burn it. But it's the Guardian Angel from Got to Be, uh, and I love this product. This is probably my fourth bottle of this, and. Um, this works on me really good. If you have thin hair that doesn't hold a curl, try this, you'll love it. And when I, after I'm done washing my hair, I'll spray in this L'Oreal Boosted Blowout Spray. It says it gives you more volume. I don't know, I'm not that thrilled with this, but I've had this for a while and it's, oh, actually, yeah, it's almost out. So I probably won't be purchasing this again. Um, I'll be looking for something else. So, and then some of my favorite dry shampoos, um, in my drugstore type brand would be the Dove dry shampoo. This is it, it's, this is pretty good for the price point. It it does it does its job. I like to spray this on my hair 
you know, second, third, fourth day. But of course, I really love the Batiste and everybody knows about the Batiste and I love this and I like the blonde one the best, but sometimes I don't always find it. And whenever I find it like at, I'm trying to see if I bought this one at Ross or no. Um, when I find it at Ross for like $4.99 or something or way cheaper than like in Walgreens or CVS. So um, those are my favorites. And then I think my, oh, I want to talk about this. How many people remember this, this bio silk? Back in the day when I was little, Oh, it brings back such memories. My mother always used to use this. And every time I smell it, I, I have to be honest, I bought this because I saw this in the store and this is expensive. This is the little bottle and it's like $10. The bigger bottle is really expensive. I think it was even more than $10, but I bought it because it smells of my mother. You know, you know how fragrances or smells bring you back to a time where you're like, oh, I remember watching my mom putting this in her ear. You know, so um, it, I know it's silk protein and I use it every once in a while because I, I do feel it, it gives a really good moisturizing treatment to my ends. And since your ends are part of the part of your hair that's been around the longest, because it's down to here, not up top. You you like to put a little more moisture in on the end. So I like this product. I think it's more about the memories. And then this, uh, the big sexy hair, is uh, the root pump. And I usually take this when I travel a lot. I, I like saving the little guys from when I travel. And it gives you, you know, you spray it right on your roots to give you a little more volume and, and some big sexy hair. So I like that. Now I'm gonna show you my my big my big really big really big <laughs> bottle of the Chi Magnifying Volume. Love this hairspray. I've tried. I don't even know if it's getting it all in the shot. Um, I've tried other um, magnifying or finishing sprays and stuff, but for some reason this one works here in this weather because in Southwest Florida. It is humid, even when it's cold, it's humid. So um, the humidity is always like 100%. So um, it's not good. Come to summer, my hair is in a ponytail or in a hat or in a braid because, well, the summer here is from Easter to Christmas, really. So just now is when I don't have that much humidity so my hair holds. I can curl my hair, get in the car, drive to church or wherever I'm going to sing and my hair is flat already. So um, it's just crazy. It's not worth the battle. Buns are my favorite thing to do in the summer, but now I, it, I can spray it and it holds, it holds it. Now this big mama I got at Ross, because they carry this every once in a while, for $14.99 for 20 ounces. The last time I bought this, I bought this at TJ Maxx, and I think it was 10 ounces or 12 ounces, and it was like $9.99, so this is a deal. Every time I find this, I buy it. I have two of them right now, so I'm never without. Now, I wanted to show you some, some that didn't really work for me, and um, this John Frieda volume, root booster, blow dry lotion, blah, 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 blah. Um, it made my hair so crunchy and you know when something has a lot of alcohol in it, which they put in it so it dries out your hair so it holds a curl better. Um, and this was, well, it was horrible. Never buy that again, never, never, never. Now this Tresemme Nourishing Rituals Liquid Gold Shine Therapy. Let me tell you something. If you want shiny hair, this is it. I bought this on clearance too. It was like $2 I had bought it. And I used a lot of it. It's only like a quarter of it left. But what happens is I, ha I put it on and you wanna put it on all the way to the ends because the shine is incredible. Every time I would have this on my hair, somebody would be like, did you just get your hair done? It looks so shiny and pretty. It's this stuff. But then I would have to put so much other products for volume because it weighed my hair down so much. So, so then I tried putting a little bit in with the volumizer and it was just too much of a hassle. So, so um, would I purchase this again? No. If you have hair that is not real thin or holds a curl and you want shine, 
this is the product you get. I don't even know if they still make it, but it's really good um, for shine. And I had gotten this um, Manoy, Manoy oil from Carol's daughter a long time ago. And um, oils don't do very well in my hair. Um, what I do with this is the night before I'm gonna wash my hair, I'll take my hair, and I'll take it from mid shaft to the ends and I'll drench it in this stuff and put it in the bun and put a turban on and go to sleep in it and then wash it in the morning. So this or coconut oil. So um, I don't really put this, you know how people with this long, thick, gorgeous hair, they'll take the oil and they'll just rub it in the ends. If I do that, it would, my hair would go completely straight. So I'm not a big fan of it, but I use it because I had it. And then this one is the Shea Moisture, and I love Shea Moisture products. And it says Yucca and Biobab. I don't know how to say it. Thickening Moisture Mix with Biotin and Bamboo Extract for thin, fine hair. See, that caught my attention. Um, and thicken, volumize. But I, I didn't see anything. If I'm going to stick with a thickening spray like this says, even though it's without all these chemicals and I love that company. Um, I like to stick with this one way, way better than this. So this was a no-go for me. That goes in the garbage. So those were all my hair products. It looks like a ridiculous amount. I have a big basket full of them. Full of them. But um, I'd love to know if you have thin hair. Um, I, think I, no, I think I have fine hair, but you know, not a lot of it, but a medium amount, but it just doesn't hold a curl long. So I need a product that's gonna hold a curl with less alcohol to dry it out, but still make it soft. You know, I just want the best of everything. And obviously with all these products, I haven't been found that much that really works. If you have the answer, please comment below. I'd love to know what you do for your hair. And, um, Thanks for watching, and if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. It would be really great. And until till next time, remember you were born to be a blessing. So go out and bless somebody with what God's given you to bless people with today. Until next time, bye.